All right, so welcome back to the civil FE exam review. Today in this video, we're going to be finishing up our geotechnical engineering section. Um, we're going to be focusing specifically on the last topic, which is a soil stabilization. If you have not checked out the videos leading up to this uh, part K, then definitely check out those videos because they're very in depth and go through foundations, bearing capacities, all of this stuff. So, all right, so let's go through these practice problems um, for soil for soil stabilization. All right, so number one says, how does the addition of lime um, as a soil stabilizer contribute to improving soil properties in construction? Okay. So first things first, we want to write um, anything that we're given. We know we're dealing with lime here. Um, as a soil stabilizer contributing to improving so how does it improve soil properties? How does lime improve soil properties? Okay, so um, do, are there any formulas needed? No. Uh, not applicable, but you do need some prior knowledge, right? Some PK. Okay. okay, so what prior knowledge might you need? Okay, so lime, I'm going to go through um, what lime does. So lime can help in, uh, it aids in the drying of wet or saturated or, or saturated soils by facilitating drainage and reducing water content. Okay, so lime also can contribute to uh, the detoxification of certain types of expansive or reactive clay minerals. Right, so this will prevent undesirable uh, soil reactions. Right, um, so there's some other things that it can do, but that's kind of one of the top ones. So um, it can re it can re be or help in the reduction in plasticity. So lime treatment reduces the plasticity index of clay soils, um, making it less susceptible to volume changes. So you don't want your soil moving um, and changing volume drastically. Because you got to think. Let's say you have this let's say you're that's the ground, right? And in one image, the ground volume is like that, right? It's all filled in. You're all good to go, right? Okay. Versus another soil where the volume is like the first or it's like this one the first one the first image but after, over time it does like this right Let's say that that is what happens, all right? The volume decides to change, all right? Well, what do you think is going to happen to the ground? The ground is going to tilt or collapse, right? It's going to come down, all right? Gravity has a way of, or it's going to start to rupture up. Um, so you don't want that happening, right? Um, so if you're able to keep the ground from changing and change in volumes and that's that's ideal right so um it reduces the plus plasticity plus yes so uh, let's go through our choices and see which one makes the most sense so 
A, by increasing uh, soil plasticity. No. All right. It decreases the soil plasticity so that the volume doesn't change. B, by reducing soil strength. That doesn't improve pro properties by any means. Right. Uh, through a chemical reaction with coarse aggregates. Uh, no. Or by uh, detoxifying or uh, by promoting drainage and detoxifying the soil. Um, so, yes. Um, it's going to be. D. So it can contribute again to the detoxification of certain types of expansive or reactive clay minerals, preventing undesirable soil reactions. Right. So something about lime. Um, I didn't know that about lime, so I did research on that. When I dealt with lime. I typically dealt with it out in the field where you would pour concrete um, or concrete was being poured. And if I was testing the concrete and its specifications, like for a slump test, you're testing how, you know, liquidy it is. And so for some of those tests, you would have this slump, this thing called a slump cone. And then that slump cone, when concrete goes in there, it's not going to stay clean right so typically you know concrete forms you're rinsing it out in the field after you've done your test but you want to get that concrete off of your slump cone so that you can measure how uh, liquidy it is on your next test well in order to do that to keep your slump cone clean sometimes what we would do is we would uh, spray our slump cones with lime and that would basically allow the concrete to be a little bit more it would do something to to create the concrete to harden up in certain areas, but it was like a oil almost where it would make whatever was on our slump cone uh, disassociate from the concrete, separating the two um, so that we could scrub it off and get rid of the excess concrete. So um, lime is very powerful stuff. Um, very cool to to know that it can also help with uh soils as well so hey everybody i know i didn't take time to formally introduce myself at the beginning so i did want to let you know who i am and how i can best serve you as you're studying for your civil fe exam so my name is james huntley and i am a civil engineer who has helped hundreds of individuals pass and dominate their civil FE exam. Now, I know this test is tough. And as you're going through material, you may be saying, I don't remember learning this stuff or gosh, these variables are so confusing. Or you just feel like you're really, really busy. And there's so much material that you need to go through that it's a bit overwhelming. So did want to let you know that I do help and work with individuals one on one to ensure that they pass their civil FE exam. And I've had individuals that have worked with me for 10 weeks and that's the longest that it has been. And I've had individuals that have worked with me for two weeks and we went back to back day after day after day, hours on hours on hours, putting in the work. Um, working together to ensure that they went ahead and passed, right? And this exam is so important because I know that you want to make more money. Um, I know that you want to, you know, get some promotions and be able to further your career and have your PE. So definitely want to open and extend a hand out want to be able to save you time, right? Because I know some people that watch my videos, you may have been watching my videos for six, nine, even 12 months, and you still haven't passed your civil FE exam. And that is the one thing that's keeping you from making more income, more impact and furthering your career. So it's definitely costing you um, 
money, resources, everything. So looking to create more success stories. Um, I am looking to work with individuals one on one. I want to hop on Zoom with you. I want you to share what you're doing as you're solving these problems so I can spot out what you may be struggling with and open your eyes so that you're not going into this test completely blind. Now, for some of you, you may have failed a test once, twice, had some people fail five times, um, or you may be wanting to take this test initially and you just wanna make sure that you pass it up front. So do have one-on-one -on -one services. I also have some uh, do-it-yourself uh, courses that if you're like, no, I got this, I got it all on my own, I know everything, or I, I'm gonna take the time to study everything, I do have some resources and materials to be able to help you in that way. But my biggest fear is that you're investing in something, uh, these programs or these courses, and you know, you're not uh, getting back or having proper feedback to help you and to push you forward. You're just giving a bunch of information and no one's sharing with you what you may be actually struggling with or what's keeping you from passing your FE exam. So looking to create a ton of success stories. So feel free um, down in the description box below. I have a ton of resources, including one-on-one -on -one coaching. Let's hop on a call. Uh, it's no cost to you as far as, you know, us talking through your goals and what you're trying to do um, and kind of getting a feel for where you're at. Um, so have some programs where I can work with you one-on-one. -on -one, and there's also some do-it-yourself courses, practice exams, study guides, resources, free material, all of that down in the description box below. So feel free to check out that stuff. If you like the video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. This is what I do. Um, we wanna get you to the next phase of your civil engineering career. Um, and leave a comment if you had any questions about um, what I went through, the information that I covered. Um, and feel free to um, definitely schedule a call with me and looking forward to creating more success stories. So be sure to check out this next video.